All right. I'll talk somewhat briefly. It might be long-winded. I don't think it will be. But in regards to COVID, long COVID, everything we went through for the past, what? I don't know. Three years? I noticed a, a common trend among basically everybody that even remotely talks about it. And some people don't even talk about it directly, but they talk about it indirectly. <clears throat> but all the same kind of weird signs and symptoms continue to bubble to the top over and over and over again. Now, I'm not going to talk about the symptoms. I don't need to. That people talk about distress, anxiety, blah, 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 uh, suicidal thoughts, PTSD, blah, blah, whatever. You look it up. Do your own homework. Now, what I have noticed, though, is, and this is what is probably, you know, it is what it is. I accept the fact that I caught that shit and it fucked my life up. It. Okay. But what gets me is people keep pointing the finger at things that are irrelevant. Rather than just accepting what happened and knowing where it's from. I, I just don't understand this misdiagnosis of this stuff. You know, people are blaming... Their employers, people are blaming the government, people are blaming their family, people are blaming their spouse or partner, people are blaming, you know, chemtrails. I mean, it is off the charts fucking retarded. We all know when this started. We all know people are blaming the vaccine. I never got vaccinated. Still still got this shit. So it just... I guess... It's disheartening to me to know that people are so... quick to point the finger at something that had literally nothing to do with their condition. Like, I was just watching a Russell Brand interviewing uh, Gina Carano video, and she was talking about all the exact same symptoms. But she was blaming it on, you know, getting fired from Disney, which I do think was fucked up. That was fucked up. And the stress, yeah, we'll get... We'll give you some of the same symptoms. I understand that. But I, it just rung a bell with me. I was like, she's... I like her. Like, she's cool as shit to me. I think she's an awesome person. But she, I don't think she's looking at the facts in the correct way. She said for three years, she had to deal with all this stuff. Welcome to the club. But, you know, yeah, I get it. You know, you lost your job with Disney, and I'm sure that was not a fun time. I lost a lot of shit. I get it. But yeah, I mean, my main point here is just that people are pointing fingers in all the wrong places, but convinced that they're correct. Mm -mm.
Bro, I know. I know exactly how I got this shit and how it changed my life. The, locks, the lockdown bullshit didn't even bother me. The mask shit didn't even bother me. Because I'm somewhat introverted myself. So, did I care to stay at home? Hell no. It was a godsend. So I guess what I'm saying is I was unvaccinated. Didn't bother with the lockdowns. It didn't bother me one bit. Still have all this same shit. Now, what I want... One more point that I wanted to make. Um, I'm noticing... And I've, I've mentioned this before, but I just want to reiterate it. Most of the people that are suffering from this, like, the worst are people that were always, like, go-getters and athletic and fighters, like Gina Carano. She was an MMA fighter. For some reason, it tends to trend in that area. Go-getters. People that push it to the limit all the time. And that's what a lot of people um, that make videos about long COVID say is like, look, I used to be pushing it to the limit all the time. Um, I overexpended myself, like, you know, I stretched it too thin, burned the candle on both ends. I have to learn now how to live life not doing that, not pushing through every problem. And I think that's a thousand percent correct. That was my way of solving problems. If I had a problem, I pushed right through that motherfucker. Now, there, <laughs> bro, there's not enough energy to do that shit. Not at all. Nope. But I think there's a there's a blindness to all this. And then, why do I think there's a blindness to this? Is because people still don't think that this is a real thing. Trust me, it is. If you had to go through this shit, oh my god, you would believe it. But people still think, oh, it's just made up. It's just an excuse to be lazy and it's an excuse to not work. No. <laughs> Trust me, everybody that has this shit, eh, shit, wish they would be at work right now. Trust me. Every day I get to work, I'm like overjoyed that I get to work. Overjoyed. I fucking hate it not being able to work. I fucking hate not having the energy. I fucking hate not being able to do simple things with my girlfriend that are normal and healthy. I hate it. But I just find it so weird that people just keep pointing the finger everywhere else. Oh, well, it's because I lost my job. Oh, well, it's because the government. Oh, well, it's because of the vaccine. Oh, well, it's because of the lockdowns. Oh, well, it's because of this, this, and this. No, motherfuckers. You're not right. Sorry. <laughs>